Phillies hosting the Marlins, and the Marlins are plus 130 on the money line. The Phillies are minus 154. The over-under is at 8.5 runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 162, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 134, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Now, this is the NL wildcard game number two. The Phillies took game number one. Thank you for everyone who keeps joining the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. It is a paid membership. You will get my best bets. You will see win, lose, or draw. Today, I couldn't hit water if it fell out of a boat, but I'm going to be transparent because not every day is going to be a winner. Now, Garrett pitched twice against the Phillies this year, and the Marlins won both of those games. And in both of those games, he had an identical stat line. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won one game 5-3 to three and he struck out 3. They won the other game 9-8 to eight in 12 innings and he struck out 5. They are 3-2 and two as a team in his last 5 starts. He's got an ERA of 1.2, averaging 5 innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last 3 against the Phillies, he's averaging 4 and 2 thirds innings pitched, 6.7 hits, 3.3 runs, 3 of which were earned, 3.7 strikeouts, 0.7 walks, 1 home run, and 85 pitches per game. For the Phillies... They are 4-1 and one in Nola's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3.2, averaging five innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They've won his last four starts, and the over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. In his last three against the Marlins, he's 1-2, or they're 1-2, averaging five and a third innings pitched, eight hits, 4.3 runs, four earned, six strikeouts, no walks, 1.7 home runs, and 91.7 pitches, and the over hit in every one of those games. Head to head, the home team's five and five. These teams are five and five against each other. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting a laying runs, five and five. There have been three one run games in their last ten meetings. The under is hitting their last two. The under is six and four in their last ten, and the under eight and a half runs is five and five. This is great when you get teams who are division rivals because generally they play each other really well. The Marlins are on a two game losing streak. They're two and two in their last four, five and five in their last ten, and the over is five four and one. The Phillies are 7-3 in their last 10. They're on a two-game winning streak, and the under is 5-4-1 in their last 10. This is a matter of do you trust the team that was in the playoffs and in the World Series, or do you trust the team that this is their first appearance and a lot of these guys' first appearance in the playoffs? I don't want to say that the Phillies are just going to you know, go in there and sweep the Marlins in two games, but you got to go with the proven playoff team. I understand Garrett pitched against them incredibly well. I do think this is going to be another one of those games. I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I'll take the Marlins getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.